Okay, so I got a question about and statements. I had covered them just not very explicitly uh, in the other video. Like I had done an and statement, but it didn't look anything like this. And I didn't say, I don't think, that it was an and statement. So I'm going to show you one that is an and statement that I have done before, just so you can get a look at what it looks like. This is an and statement. And if you've seen that video, you know that it's likely I'll get that little barbell answer. Well, an and statement that looks like this just doesn't have a common component to it. But the solution does share the same group of numbers. So you do, in this case, have uh, kind of an barbell going again. Not kind of a barbell, it is the barbell to style graph. Which is a non-mathematical term by the way, so don't go around talking to your teacher about, oh it's the barbell style. Unless it's me, if I'm your teacher then you can do it. Um, anyway, 3b minus 1 is less than 29 and 10b plus 10 is greater than or equal to 10. So I'm going to draw my line. If you're watching this video, you're probably to the point you don't need me to go through these steps. If you do, I've got some other videos that are a little earlier in the set than this, so feel free. Uh, the big deal here, of course, is I divide it by a positive, so I don't need to flip this over. I just bring B down. Uh, B is less than 10. On the other side, which is the whole bunch of 10s, 10 minus 10 is 0. 10B, these uh, cancel uh, and divide by 10. If this was an equation, you could just go ahead and say b is 0. But in inequality, it matters to finish it all the way out, just because you may or may not flip the inequality over. So it's important that you kind of complete that, just so you can get a good view of what the picture is going to look like, even though you can kind of tell because it's an and statement. Anyway, I divide it by a positive, so this does not need to flip. And 0 divided by 10 is, of course, 0. There are so many zeros and 1s and no other numbers. Uh, the one on the right kind of looks like binary code, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make my graph now. So I'm going to go to 10, because it says b is less than 10. I'm going to circle it here. Now, this is not less than or equal to. There's no line underneath, so I don't need to fill in that circle. 10 is not part of my solution set. It's just there. to. It's like a barrier. It's the limit. Uh, so I'm going to go down from there, and I'm just going to do it a little bit, because I know it's going to run into the other one. Uh, the other one says b is greater than or equal to 0, so I'm going to go to 0. It does have the line underneath, so it's part of the answer, so I need to fill that part of it in. Uh, B is next to the bigger end, so that means it's greater than. And the other one, of course, B was next to the little end, so it's less, so it goes down. I don't tend to do the arrow points and you draw that way scenario, because if I flip the, th uh, the inequality around, like this and this mean the same thing. B is still next to the little end, and you would draw them backwards if you did the go the way the arrow points nonsense. So instead, just think like a pictorial language, which is what math is. Uh, if B is next to the little end, the answer is less. If B is next to the big end, like it is over here, the answer is more or greater. So little left is, tends to be the way that we go about it in my room. Um, on the other side of it, I wanted to do one more that just covered uh, you know, variables on both sides nonsense. So I end up with 3n plus 3 is less than 3 minus 10n. It would be helpful if I was writing this down while I was yapping about it. But, you know, lots of things would be helpful that I haven't done. draw the line here. I need to get my variable terms on the same side. I tend to move variables before constants, so ends before not ends. Uh, I'm going to move this minus 10, or I'm going to truly, I'm going to eliminate it on one side and add it to the other, because you do something to one side, you have to do it to the other, that whole thing. Socialist credo. Plus 3. It's not totally socialism, but you know. Uh, in this case, 3 minus 3 is 0. Once again, usually n equals 0, that's right, but in this case we need to make sure that we don't flip that inequality. We're dividing by a positive, so we don't. So n is less than 0. On the next set, uh, we'll go in, I'm going to move the 5. 8 minus 5 is 3n plus 5. I need to get this 5 to go away, so I'm going to subtract it. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Divide by 3. Uh, in Now, the answer is going to be negative. It's negative 1. This negative 3 is negative as well, even though as I wouldn't have said negative in front of 3 there. The only thing that matters about flipping is this one. It's positive 3, so I'm not going to flip it over. So I have these two statements working together. Now, I'm almost done. Somebody's coming into my classroom, but I'm videoing, so... Uh, we're almost done anyway, guys. Negative 1, so make your circle. It's uh, equal to, so fill it in n is greater than, it's next to the big end. You can go the way the arrow points this time if you like. n is less than 0, make a circle, fill it in. It looks like some sort of broken Harry Potter glasses scenario. And that's it. So that's an and statement. Uh, you get the barbell every time. You don't get the arrows facing opposite directions. And the end, the all, done.